Welcome to the tutorial. Know about electrical panel and maintenance. Electrical panel pad 3. Look back at the portions that we covered in the last two parts. Schematic diagrams and importance. Form of separation. Ingress protection. Electromechanical interlock. Auto transfer switch. Portions included in part 3. Automatic transfer switch. Automatic mains failure system. Let us proceed from the previous part. The ATS panel is used to provide a secondary power supply to the MSB with only one incoming breaker. Line diagram and pictures of two types of ATS given here. The ATS panel has two incoming terminals and one outgoing terminal. Utility power and generator power connected to the ATS as Terminal 1 and Terminal 2, as shown in the diagram and common output goes to MSB. Control circuit senses the main power received at input 1, and if any failure or change in power occurs, input 1 will open and send a signal to start the generator. When the power reaches the secondary side, the system closes the secondary contact and supplies power to the MSB. The transferring process will be completed within 6 to 8 seconds after a utility power failure. When the utility power is restored, the control system will check the stability of power. If the power supply is detected as correct, the system send a signal to open the secondary contact, stop the generator and close the main breaker of ATS to deliver power to MSB. When the power arrives at MSB, the control circuit send a command to close the incomer ACB. The transferring process will be completed within 10 seconds when the utility power restores. Automatic Mains Failure System The AMF control system is used to provide a second power supply to panels that with two incoming sections or two incoming sections with bus coupler. AMF system controls the power supply of the MSB when the main power source fails. The logic of the control circuit used to transfer power described here with a single line drawing. PFR, main power phase failure relay with under and over voltage protection. GPFR generator power phase failure relay with under and over voltage protection.
Relay K1, power to the main incoming section control circuit. Relay K2, power to generator incoming section control circuit. K3, auto manual control switch to circuit. Relay K4, off delay timer send start signal to the generator. Last part, we learn about the electrical interlock. Here the same interlock is given and the other provided via PFR. In this logic, other interlock provided after NC of K2. If MPFR is not active, K1 will not close and the same applies to K2 also through GPFR. Functions of PFR included in the controls part. Panel with two incoming power. The main power and generator power connected with phase failure relays. As soon as the MPFR realizes the failure of the main power source, the power supply to the primary side control stop. Followed by the main breaker open and the off timer send a signal to start the generator. from the generator reaches the control circuit, the GPFR detects the stability of the voltage and send a close signal to the relay K2. Then the control circuit send a signal to close the secondary side breaker and the panel works on generator power. The whole process will be completed in 6 to 8 seconds. Utility power is restored, the MPFR detects the stability of the voltage and signals the K1 to close. Then the secondary breaker opens and the generator receives a stop signal from K4. Coming breaker close and the full panel will go live within 10 seconds. Details and functions of all spares and relays will be included in the controls part. Automatic mains failure functions continued in part 4. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos and updates.